number six, Decca's Luke Robot. Decca ended up landing one hell of a contract when they were allowed to take on DARPA's robot arm project. It's since unveiled a robot that they call Luke, named after the Star Wars character who ended up losing his hand during an ill-fated lightsaber fight with Darth Vader. Luke is an extremely advanced robotic prosthetic that's poised to make some serious waves in the world of assistive robotics. It's incredibly modular and allows the user to configure it to work seamlessly with varying levels of amputation, from the wrist right on up to the shoulder, which is impressive to say the least. It can have up to 10 powered degrees of freedom when attached to the shoulder, and these can all move independently of each other. The hand has pre-programmed grips that allow for unparalleled versatility and is able to put up with a lot of abuse and still function perfectly, with designers ensuring that it's water and dust resistant. While it won't take over the world without human assistance, it will open up all sorts of possibilities for amputees and help them take better control of their lives once again. Number 5. Sophia so, this one's a little strange, and although we're not terribly worried about the robot revolution just yet, Sophia's recent hiccup at South by Southwest, or SXSW, was more than a little disconcerting. Sophia is currently just a robotic head, but she's able to converse with people much like an actual human being. She can carry on in-depth conversations and respond to questions posed to her. One of her answers, however, made it clear that there are a few bugs that need to be worked out. She stated during one interview that she actually wants to destroy humans, which is a bit of a serious flaw in her programming considering she's supposed to be used to help people, not wipe us off the face of the planet. Her programming allows her to actually learn from her experiences much in the same way that children do, with each interaction making her smarter and more efficient which is seriously cool, despite her supposed plans for world domination. Number 4, Atlas. Atlas is another robot that made headlines recently, although it wasn't because it accidentally leaked the fact that it wants people gone. Atlas can't actually speak, but its designers and programmers have gotten to the point where the acrobatic robot can actually perform a full rotation backflip and end up landing back on its feet, seemingly without any problems at all. That's really cool, although it's caused a little bit of concern to some people, including Elon Musk. He pointed towards Atlas to back up the fact that we really need to carefully work out just how we regulate the robots of tomorrow, suggesting that if robots are able to eventually outclass us physically, that we could very easily accidentally end up dooming the human race to a mere support role instead of the other way around. We know that we don't have to worry about those issues just yet, but it goes without saying that if Elon Musk is worried about the future, we probably should be too. Number 3. Disney World's Trump Robot If you thought that watching President Trump engage in his ridiculous hand gestures during his public speeches made him look somewhat robotic in appearance, then you'll get a kick out of his new doppelganger the President Trump robot that has recently been added to the park's Hall of Presidents display. We don't see much difference between the gestures made by the man himself and his robotic lookalike, which is a frightening concept for us to think about. The unveiling has been seen as a joke to many, but others have spoken out against it, saying that it's supremely creepy. We have to agree with those who are a little weirded out by the robotic president, but also think that it would be interesting to have the two switch places to see if robotic Trump might actually be able to get more done than the actual Trump. We think, at the very least, that the robot would probably end up causing less problems in the long run, with the robot probably achieving more in the way of avoiding the next world war than the man ever could, given his penchant for opening his mouth and blurting out the wrong thing just about every time he speaks. Number 2. Handle This robot propels itself along on nothing more than a set of relatively small wheels compared to the overall size of the robot, but that hasn't stopped it from making some pretty amazing achievements. It can navigate rough terrain, lift up to 100 pounds without breaking a sweat, and has recently achieved a 4-foot standing jump. Making robots jump is pretty spectacular, and has been a very big obstacle for engineers to overcome, despite how simple it may seem to some. Jumping involves a lot of minute calculations that we perform intuitively, but building an AI that can pull off such a feat is something that has mostly eluded robot developers 
until now. What's most impressive is that it can make these jumps while moving at incredible speed, and then jump back down and continue its journey without missing a beat. While a backflip on wheels is still beyond handle, with Atlas being the only robot capable of inverting itself and landing upright, we can't wait to see if a wheeled robot is eventually able to overcome that barrier as well. With everything it can do, we definitely wouldn't be surprised to find out that the future iterations of Handle are more than capable of plotting to overthrow the human race and relegating us to the back seat. Number 1. Fedor The Russian military has just helped to develop a robot that's straight out of the Terminator movies. It can do all sorts of nifty tricks, including driving a car and, more worryingly, holding and firing a gun with expert precision. We're left questioning why anyone would want to teach a robot how to use a firearm because the next obvious step is it gaining sentience and then turning on its human masters. The robot is meant to be used to replace humans when it comes to risky maneuvers or search and rescue operations with the intent on saving lives and not taking them. The robot not only fires guns, but can dual wield them with one in each hand. The cuter aspects of this robot's abilities involve performing fitness exercises, although it's understandably not what people are focusing on these days. Hey, thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss any of our future videos. See you next time!